Hello, this is AKIC Radio, edition number two. It's November 21st, 2007, here in Wu, Wuxi, China. I'm broadcasting from the 21st floor of the Wu Ijiaran Apartments here in downtown Wuxi. Hello, my name is Andes Collins uh, from uh, the AKIC Blog Network. Uh, you can visit my blogs at uh, www.andescollins.spaces.live.com or www.andescollins.tumblr.com or www.andescollins.blogspot.com Now, Andis Collins is spelled A-N-D-I-S-K-A-U-L-I-N-S dot com. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, this is second take, and I'm not doing it again. Now, anyway, what am I going to talk about today? Two things. First thing, a disgusting sight. I don't know. Like, I was going to talk about uh, doing the uh, this radio commercial. I did not know. It wasn't a radio commercial. I guess it must have been a TV commercial anyway for this uh, kitchen cabinet or bath cabinet design company out in uh, Junning, China. No. Now we went to the office today at noon. They drove us out to Junning. We were in this factory, and uh, they took video of us in a design room pretending we were designers. The director told me to to look like I was considering and designing and questioning. Anyway, got to wear a suit. They gave me glasses. But anyway, it was after we did this, like they uh, dropped us off at the office and I walked home. Now anyway, we were walking down that road in Wuxi that uh, goes by, goes past Ronnie's Australian p bar and uh, that, that post office building, that funky looking post office building, and also, you know, of course, you go past the Sheraton. Now, uh, it's about 5 o'clock, uh, rush hour, and at a bus stop, there was a little child, uh, probably, well, I don't know, a little child. He must have been probably 9 or 10 years old. He had his pants down to his ankles, and he was taking a pee right at the bus stop. And he was sort of playing, making a game of it. He was trying to actually... Uh, hit the hit one of the posts at the uh, bus stop bus stop shelter uh, was supporting so it was kind of rather disgusting sight I don't know why it just it scared me I was walking by and I was like oh my god I couldn't believe it just couldn't believe it but that's the thing that happens in China all the time uh, second thing I want to talk about on a better note I want to wish a happy 60th wedding anniversary to uh, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. And this is from a, a Latvian monarchist. Now, uh, growing up, I never would have thought that I would be saying this sort of thing, you know, wishing monarchy a happy wedding anniversary, but for some reason, I've become a bit of a monarchist. This is a strange thing for a Latvian to be saying. Now, how is this, you ask? How can this be? Well, I don't know. I sort of come to the conclusion that... Uh, the Queen serves a good purpose. I mean, I'd rather seen a Queen Elizabeth on our coins than, for example, Pierre Trudeau or Brian Mulroney. Now, I like Mulroney, but let's face it, he's a divisive figure. And Pierre Elliott Trudeau, well, I don't know, I just can't stand him. And I think it would be an insult to the West, Western Canada, if they ever put his face on a coin. And then and that's why I see the genius of a monarchy. We got figure head who's above politics on our coins. Anyway, I want to wish them a happy 60th, 60th wedding anniversary. And as I could say, may they live longer than Castro. And I also say I wish I could be so lucky. The thing is for me now, if I have my uh, 60th an wedding anniversary, I'm going to be 101 years old, and Jenny will be about, ooh, in her 90s. Uh, I don't know, it's probably not going to happen, so... If I could make it to 30 or 35, I'll be very happy. Of course, sometimes I wonder if I'll make it to 2. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> perish that thought. Anyway, thank you for listening to AKIC Radio Edition number 2. Uh, you can email me at acollins at gmail.com. Uh, acollins is spelled A-K-A-U-L-I-N-S. And again, once again, once again, I thank you rare listeners for listening. Have a good night.